So my dad was actually born in Niagara Falls, but his parents came from Ottoman Turkey during the genocide. Um, in about, you know, early 1900s. And then my grandmother and her mother and her grandmother were the only ones that survived. And they came from Eastern Turkey. Um, they were deported from their home in Kiri. I had to start working in my dad's restaurant on the golf course, the Greens restaurant in the uh, High Park Golf Course in Niagara Falls when I was 13. He got the concession to run the restaurant. So from the age of 13 all the way through law school, I would work in the restaurant. Even My dad would call me in even when I was a lawyer and say, hey, can you come in? I had a waitress call in, can you work a shift? And I would go and work in the evenings. Um, so, but I started out working in the kitchen my mother was a great cook, so growing up, she was a stay-at-home mom for the first, I think, 13 years, and she would cook, um, you know, a full meal every night, and I and she would cook a lot of Armenian food. Um, she was an excellent cook, and of course, you know, a lot of the women in the family I learned from my great aunt, who would cook chudig and. Gosh, I can't remember everything that she used to make. Um, and my grip, my Aunt Pauline would cook. So the baklava recipe that I use, I got from my mother. And I believe that it was my grandmother's recipe. Usually we make baklava during holidays. So that's normally, you know, when we would have it either for Thanksgiving or Christmas or Easter. And it's just probably because it's very time consuming to make and it's, you know, you have to make so much of it and then it's nice to have, you know, relatives around to, to share it with. And I might give, uh, take pieces to aunts and, you know, different people around the city and share it because there's just so much of it and you know when you make a huge batch of it you know probably when I went away, just moved away from home I started making it myself whereas before that I would watch my mother you know painstakingly butter every layer of the phyllo dough you know 50 layers and uh, learn from her how to make it probably watching her make it You would want the layers to be like flaky and you know crunchy and it's sweet i don't you know there's no way around it i don't think it would be good if it weren't really sweet so you have to like something that's really dense and sweet um, i don't know if you could have a bad baklava <laughs> Uh, about baklava, I would say that it's easier to make than people think it is. So if you break it down, there's only seven ingredients and um, it's not usually made with honey. That's a, maybe that's in other cultures or just not, um, not that recipe that I was handed down. Uh, it's not too difficult to make and I'd be happy to share my recipe with people. I want to give it a try. And uh, Armenian food is very similar to Greek food and Turkish food and Lebanese food and you know they're all very similar and they're all very healthy I think in my opinion. I like the flaky part of uh, the baklava. You know I think everybody gets excited when you make it because it is something they're not used to having like when I bring it to holiday parties at work and you know they just make a fuss over it because they just don't get it that often and they think it's you know so complicated and then you tell them it's vegan and you know and people just say oh it's the best baklava I've ever had and you know it's just nice to be able to share that with other people not only is it Armenian it's also vegan so 
I get to share that something, you know, that's part of my culture. That's, that's my makeup, really. Because, you know, my dad was very proud of, you know, the, the, um, my Armenian identity. Then that I, I, I expressed an interest in it. I expressed an interest in learning Armenian um, and going to the church and being involved in the activities. Um, so it's just a part of my culture and, you know, sharing my culture. So, you know, it does, it just takes me back to all of those feelings that, you know, I've been making this since I was a kid, you know, with my mom and, um, and in the church and, you know, um, so it's a part of my heritage. Maybe start, you know, trying to make some Armenian dishes and, you know, grab your parents, your grandparents' cookbooks or the recipes and, you know, take, uh, you know, try to make them because they're really, they're not that difficult and you can learn a lot and it's some of the best food in the world in my opinion. <laughs>